I'm here with Mr. Stark. He is the coordinator of the Action Figure Museum at Paul Valley. How are you doing today, sir? Wonderful. Well, uh, I, I see that we're in the back room, first off. And uh, there's a lot of Batman stuff in here. It's kind of making me nervous. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> so, um, how how did you get started with this project? Uh, I've been a toy designer for over 20 years and a collector for nearly 25 years. I just had a lot of toys. Well, how many toys did you uh, first start out with, with the actual uh, first project? Uh, well, we opened a little over six years ago and, oh gosh, I don't know, I had thousands. Thousands? Figures. Wow. So you've been like, obviously you're big in the Batman. Big in the Batman. What's your favorite comic? Uh, well, Batman. No. Batman. <laughs> okay. We'll go with the Batman. Yeah. Um, well, are you big fans of the Joker? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I'm big fans of the Joker. Well, Especially good. when Batman beats the crap out of it. Well, I, <laughs> I definitely understand that. Um, well, moving on. So you started out with thousands of toys. What actually gave you the initial idea to start a museum? Uh, actually, the town of Falls Valley itself came up with the idea that they wanted uh, unique tourist attractions in the downtown area. And I joked around with them, uh, with the committee, that I had the unofficial tourist attraction, which was my studio, which was full of toys. Oh, great. And I would have total strangers knock on my door because they would hear about it and want to see the toys. And so they would tour my studio while I was working. And uh, so I joked with the uh, committee, said, well, we ought to make it official, make it a real museum, and they took me serious. So, so uh, I guess the, the question my viewers probably have is, how did the, all the pigs in uh, Oklahoma City and Oklahoma in general, why Paul's Valley? Uh, well, because I live here. Okay. So, and I wanted to help the community by providing them a unique tourist attraction. So we got together a group of people. We became a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, this group of people, and it took a lot of people to get this place open. Uh, we designed the place. We decided what the mission statement was going to be, and all these things, and put the place together. Then this building came available, and so we rented it and opened the museum. Well, that's great, awesome. So, um, so friend, any future endeavors on why, where you're going to? go with the actual project, the actual museum, is there any future things that we can come to see? Well, yeah, we're always looking to expand, always uh, uh, looking to go bigger. Um, the idea, the concept has done really well, and uh, we change displays out a lot, but we need more room, so we're looking for more room. Very awesome. And also, like, uh, how, how long have you been a, like, an avid toy collector, say, before, a toy maker for that matter? Uh, before the museum actually got established? Oh, well, it took us actually 10 years to, uh, it took us five years to get open. So, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. you know, it, just from the initial idea and concept, uh, it took us five years to get everything ready, the legal work and all that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, but, you know, I've been around toys for a long time. So I guess you could say it's uh, all part of the plan? Yeah, it's all part of the plan. That's great. <laughs>
gone. Right. Maybe you have to turn it off first. Ah! Aha! Mr. Hmm. Gordon? Hello? Hello? Due to the UFO warning system data danger. Danger? Really? We're in trouble. Ah, well, we should get out of here. Trouble alert? Mm. Oh, yeah, let's turn. Not to be a genius to check it out. Ah, let's turn. Okay, guys, okay. Who was the best Batman? God, I have to say a dog call. I'm kidding, what was awesome. But he was definitely was a better Bruce Wayne than Batman. That is true. And I like, so... Probably Christian Bale was the best Batman. Yeah, yeah. so far. What but about Adam West? Adam West was so <laughs> No, I thought we were just going over here. <laughs> no. No, no. He made a movie. Okay, well, that's true, technically. It was a good movie. It was a great movie. It was a great movie. Yeah. It was great yeah. Yeah. But Val Kilmer, yeah. the, the part where uh, he uh, uh, is trying to get uh, Nicole Kidman, and, and she says that she likes Bruce Wayne, and, said, and he gives that crazy like grin. No, that. I'm just yeah. like, no, no. You lost it for me, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're not Batman. You're a guy trying to get a skirt. No. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, that, that's, that's definitely true. I would have to say Christian Bale as far as Batman. Mm -hmm. Bill Kimmler probably as Bruce Wayne. I have to agree. You'd have to agree with that? This is not much of a debate here, Riddler. Seriously. So, uh, George Clooney gets no problem. Horrible. George Clooney's horrible. <laughs> but, but was George Clooney bad or was it just bad directing? I think it was Clooney's bad directing. Terrible actor. And bad writing. Bad writing, definitely. Bad writing, definitely, but also he's a terrible actor. A terrible actor? I wouldn't say he terrible actor. He himself. Well, I wouldn't say terrible actor. I would say oh, he was okay. terrible at that. <laughs> now, Schumacher filmed the movie around. Schumacher and, yeah. Shoemaker. 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 Yeah. It's not a Mac. Well, whatever he needs to stay away from Batman movies. <laughs> I absolutely agree. He, like, yeah. just... Batman oh. Robin is, with George Clooney, is almost unwatchable. Yes. It's that bad. I agree. Okay. We oh, can all agree, agree on no, that. Don't oh, that. absolutely. Don't, yeah. don't too many characters, too much going on. It's just a mess. It's a mess. The ledger was great as far as the joke. Like he was great. He? And, oh, the, Nicholson. and Nicholson? Well. No. Nicholson could have been great if they didn't put all that makeup on his face. Yeah. The I permanent grin was crazy. The shiny. That's why he got that role. He should have played it like that. Like, I, they should have let him play it. Like that. I totally agree. Yeah, I think he, he probably would have. Yeah. What, what do you think about the new Batman movie coming out? Dark Knight Rises? Uh, I think it would be wonderful. Now, now there's, there's fans of it? Uh, well, if Bane is it, that's what that's a bad thing. Yeah. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you remember the last one. Last Bane. Bane. Yeah, but again, that was Joel Schumacher. He was he used Bane as a uh, a yeah. flunky. Yeah, that's a yeah. yeah, that's a proper word. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And yeah. and but it's the same with uh, Batman Forever. Uh, Two Face was a flunky to Jim Carrey. No, that didn't make Get sense. Get out of here. No, no. I actually like talking to the test. No, he was kooky as far as being two effects. They didn't describe much of the storyline on like where he came but from. But with Tommy Lee Jones, which was Not the star side and which was the good looking side. Exactly. <laughs> that is true. The guy is like all wrinkled up on both sides. You know? We had to paint one side purple just so you could tell. Wasn't it you that said, it's so you, but it's so you? Yes. I mean, yeah, that, that, that was just like weird. That was sparkly. Yes. yes, you were very, very sparkly. Yeah. It was a sparkly movie. What was that? The low that thing. And it was like sparkling and yeah. he had the sparkling out there. What was that? Keeps me safe when I'm jogging at night? Obviously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Keeps the Look, women. I don't around here. <laughs> We're in an interview. <laughs> the Joker. Come on. Yeah. Like that. I'm the curator. Ooh. <laughs> hey, so what are your superpowers? Uh, my superpowers are I have an incredible memory for what I own. Really? Yes. That's a superpower. Uh, it is a superpower. I can no. tell you when someone has picked up a figure and looked at it and put it back down. I can tell you that. Definitely a different power. Than People that. underestimate the fact that I know everything that I have in this museum. Oh, I place every item in here. Everything? Yes. I place every item in so you're kind of so like, describe that corner over there you know, yeah, without looking at it. Exactly. Oh, well, no, I can't do that. But I can go look at it and tell you if it's been moved or changed. <laughs> I can 
can tell you that. Whoa! That's awesome. Yeah. That's very awesome. So that's funny. I also heard that you're an artist as well. I am an artist. You're an art gallery. Uh, yes, a studio, a gallery, and all kinds of. They're getting on top. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, <laughs> I thought my coach would. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You. We'll have a discussion later. <laughs> so, about the bat, I am not, I, I, I'm, I'm heartless, I promise. So, about the bat, you would have to say, we, we said about Coma. What, what do you think, sir? Oh, well, I'm Christian Bale. Christian Bale's definitely the best bat that I know. He's intense. And I think Batman will be intense. I, I think so, too. But in fact, I pretty much know some. Yeah. 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 yeah I've run into the bat quite a few times. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Sure. The guy off Criminal Minds would put him in that director. Who would that be? Hodgman. Hodgman. Criminal Minds. Yeah. Is that, did you pronounce that one right? Yes, sir. Okay, bro. Well, I, I'm not a big. Is it CSI? Criminal Minds. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not a big Criminal Minds. Catch up. Just saying. I'm not a big criminal show fan. So, no, yeah. No. Well, I know, but I, that's what I do for professional. On my body. downtime. Yeah, on my downtime, he's just, you know. On my downtime, I like he to show watches Smurfs cartoon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I watch a lot of them. Yeah. So, wait. <laughs> so, as far as the new Superman, do um, you have any details as far as, like, who you would like to see the new Superman to be? Well, they've already picked the guy. I you know, I, I know, I get that. But as far as your own personal. Oh, my own, well, gee, I don't know. You don't know? I hadn't thought about it. Really? I'm not well, available. So. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> Who would you like to see as the villain in the Superman the new Superman? That's good. Uh, I'd like to see Brainiac. That would be awesome. Lex Luthor. I mean, get away from Lex Luthor. Right. Once. That's I'm true. Gonna, come on. Brainiac's pretty cool and could be very intense. Yeah, that or maybe Dark Side. Not, but see, I would lead up to Dark Side. Yeah. I, you know, that's like uh, bringing out the heavy hitters in the first inning. That's you know, true. Uh, I, would, I would lead up to that, you know. So. And you make a cliffhanger at the end. Of the well, time. yeah. Or uh, actually, and I think they're going to do this, uh, they're going to do the same thing that Marvel's doing leading up to the Avengers movies. So, and the Cosmic Cube is going to be in play and all. So, to me, you work up a lot of DC movies and then the big Justice League movie fight starts. Would be great, by the way. I would love to see that in a like, real film. Yeah. yeah. Right. So as far as uh, any of the Batman stuff, your favorite character, who's your favorite villain? Mm. Well, I'm pretty partial to the Joker, but I like, uh -huh. I like Clayface. Clayface is pretty I awesome, actually. Clayface is crazy. crazy. It's nothing done. Yeah. What about him? You don't like I like the Riddler. Mm -hmm. Tell him Rock. I like Tell him Rock. He's a live man. Hey, he's like, I've been holding that all along. I've been working out so long. Oh, well, okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. Want to slim fast? Uh huh. Yeah. Slim fast? Yeah. Good one. Slim fast. You really think that's going to do it for you? Oh, you did great. Uh -huh. Marvelous. Part of the plan, right? Part yeah. of the plan. Look at all the chicks. Yeah. All so the chicks? Are you seriously? I mean, I go to parties with you. No, you don't. You don't talk. <laughs> you sit in the corner. <laughs> and smile. I mean, it's kind of creepy. Well. Look at the MO, all right? Seriously. Well, Mr. Yeah, Stark. He's always got a different story for his scar. I know. So have you heard the new one? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, like I said, come check us out. Lotus Comics Press, lotuscomics.com. Come check him out. Toymuseum.com, right? Toy and Action Figure Museum. Toy and Action Figure Museum. Action Figure Museum. At dot com. He's got it better than I do because I'm the, I'm the Joker and can't remember anything. So come see us. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Signing off.